If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to our channel, like the video and comment your feedback. So I have created a new React.js project and I have removed all the boilerplate or unwanted file. So I am going to run the code, run the project. So here is the project. Okay. I am going to create an edit form. I am giving title as edit form and I am going to use the form. Inside this form, I am going to use two input. In place order, I am going to give username. Mm -hmm. In second input, I am going to give the placeholder as email. Okay. Then I am going to use the button. I am giving the name of the button as edit. Okay. And type as submit. Okay, so we have created I have created a form in which there is a two uh, input and a button. So here you can see that uh, the form. So I am giving a small style to make it more visible. Okay, so okay, so here is our a uh, form edit form. So next, uh, the first thing that we have to do is to install React hook form. So I am going to take the new terminal, and I am going to install. npm install react hook form so the react hook form will be installed into our new react js project okay so react hook form is installed into our react js project you can see it in the packet.json next thing that we have to do is to import one thing from react hook form from react hook form so the thing that we have to import is use form like this way sorry use form okay oh so first of all uh, we have installed this react hook form and next we have import a use form from the react hook form okay then we have to use three things that is sorry two things the one thing is a register the next thing is handle submit which is from use form that's like this way okay so we have to give register and handle submit into our form so register is used to register our uh, each input field so for that we have uh, give we have to give an a parenthesis as like this way then three dots then give the register and inside this register we have to pass the name so for that i am going to give the name as username We can directly give this username into the register field or register. Okay. So next we have to use the register in the email also like that. Uh, for that we have to give the uh, parentheses as like this way. Then three uh, dots. Then register. 
inside the register the name email okay we can directly give this email into this register so uh, sorry this is, there is a type error okay so we have used the register from this use form next we have to use the handle submit so handle submit is using in this form so we know that there is an on submit in this uh, form uh, field and inside this on submit we have to use this handle submit and here inside this handle submit i am going to call a function that is on submit we have to define that on submit the next thing that we have to do is to define the on submit okay so we we will get the data here i am going to log the data so this is a basic uh, handling of the uh, handling of the form using a react hook form so here you can see the a uh, form as like this way so in the console we can see that when we give the data it will be there in the console okay yes this is the basic handling of the form so we have to this is uh, we can say that it is an add form so we have to create an edit form so for creating an edit form there will be a predefined or pre existing values for example here in the username there will be a pre existing value uh, uh, for example from an api uh, the data from an api uh, here uh, there will be an email also when we opened first opened this page so for that we have an, an another property uh, which uh, this use form is giving to us or react hook form is giving to us that is default values so using default values is inside this use form function so inside this function we have to write the default value as like this way and we can give the data into this default values here that means we know that we have already given the registered this username and email so we can give the default value into those username and email like this way so uh, for that uh, for showing to you i am going to use the uh, json fake uh, api so here i'm i'm using the json uh, fake api we can see that there is a uh, api for users so i am going to copy this api its url then i am going to use it here so i am going to write a function as like this way and inside this function i am going to uh, use the fetch and i am giving the url into this fetch so uh, we need uh, uh, the data of single user we know that uh, this is uh, the there are 10 users so for single users i am giving one here so we can we will get the details of the id one okay so here i am giving the one so here we know that we will get the response response to json format then we will get the data like this way so we can give the data into the into this username and email as like this way okay that means json dot so here you can see that uh, the uh, there is name and there is email so i am going or uh, there is a username and there is email so i am going to use this username and email so for that i am going to give the json dot 
a username here and json dot email here okay then next i am going to return this fetch now when we look the browser you can see that we will have the uh, default or uh, pre-existing values that is username and the email so this is how uh, we the default value will be used in this react hook form for creating uh, or in creating an edit form so i think it is very clear uh, if this video is helpful to you please consider subscribing to the channel like the video and comment your feedback thank you